Welcome to Brain Feed Magazine. In this article, you will know about depletion of energy resources and hazards of burning fossil fuels for our energy requirements. You will also understand about the climate emergency we are faced with and the way forward. Let's get started. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. We need energy to do many things such as cook and preserve food, light and cool homes and offices, operate industries for manufacturing products, commute using bikes and cars, travel by planes, transport materials through ship and many more. India has the responsibility to fulfill the energy needs of its 1.36 billion population. As of today, a major part of this is fulfilled from resources that are finite and non-renewable such as coal, oil and natural gas which are called as fossil fuels. The burning of fossil fuels for energy has resulted in increased greenhouse gas emissions including carbon dioxide. This in turn has become one of the major reasons for increasing surface temperature and climate change that we are facing today. According to the Paris Agreement, and other negotiations nations have agreed to hold the increase in the global average temperature to below 1.5 degrees celsius above pre-industrial levels for this greenhouse gas emissions must decline 43% by 2030 india has promised to cut its emissions to net zero by the year 2070 net zero or becoming carbon neutral means not adding to the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere Transitioning to sustainable, clean and green energy is the one and only solution to avert a catastrophe. Sustainable energy calls for the use of renewable or inexhaustible resources without damaging ecosystems or the atmosphere like coal and oil do. Renewable energy is based on using inexhaustible natural resources such as the sun, wind, water or biomass to produce electricity, heat, gas. and biofuels without releasing greenhouse gas let's have a look at various renewable energy sources solar energy source sun's rays application electricity generation lighting water heating and industrial use key advantage each household can produce electricity for self consumption by installing a solar panel on their roof wind energy source wind moving air application electricity generation pump water for agricultural needs key advantage wind turbines have a long service life hydro power source moving water application electricity generation irrigation flood control drought mitigation river navigation recreation and tourism advantage flexible because the flow of water passing through the turbines can be adapted to the electricity needs bioenergy biomass in forms such as wood animal waste and traditional charcoal liquid biofuels such as bioethanol produced from wooden pellets and other plants biogas produced by anaerobic digestion of waste wood pellet heating systems application it can be burned directly for heating or power generation liquid biofuels a convenient renewable substitute for gasoline are mainly used in the transportation sector key advantage cheaper than gasoline or diesel marine energy source tides waves salinity gradients and currents application electricity generation key advantage of short turbines are not too expensive to build and maintenance is inexpensive geothermal energy source heat derived from the subsurface of the earth application electricity generation key advantage does not depend on weather conditions and has very high capacity factors let's know how students can involve in energy transition students may join groups such as sdg 7 youth constituency this is a platform for youth to channelize their actions and voices in the energy sector with emphasis on renewable energy sources Another group that would be of interest for students is the International Renewable Energy Agency's Youth Forum. The forum highlights the role of young people in identifying and developing solutions that can promote and accelerate renewables-based energy transitions to achieve climate targets and other sustainable development goals. Elevate women's role in energy and advocate for their inclusion in decision-making and policy processes. 
You may use and advocate usage of energy saving appliances for daily tasks such as cooking, laundry etc. You may turn off lights and unplug devices when not in use. You can try and reduce heating and air conditioning to only when necessary. That brings us to the end of this video. We hope you liked it. Stay tuned to Brain Feed TV, our YouTube channel.